Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I'm an awful garbage filthy mouth, so viewer discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Why, well, hello, my little darlings. I'm excited for today's video because last week I got to unbox a really awesome luxury mystery box, and today I get to put all those products to the test. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new Tom Ford Opera Skis palette, the Westman Atelier Vitamol. Vitamol. Vitamol, that's not even a word. Vital skincare complexion drops. We have the new holiday lipstick from Givenchy. We have a Gucci blush. We have a Dior concealer and the new Dior mascara. We have a lot of things. We're basically all things luxury. So in today's look, what I try to aspire to be is the most powerful person in the Zoom meeting. And I think I have accomplished that. But if you want to see the trials and tribulations that is this, that was this, because it was a journey, okay? It was a journey and a fun one at that. Definitely keep on watching. But before I get all Andy Rooney, a word from today's sponsor. Thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. I love Thrive Market, and if you've been with my channel for some time, then you know they have been a staple since moving to this bog country. But if you've never heard of Thrive Market, well, baby, let me tell you a little bit about them. They're an online-based grocery store with the sole mission of making healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. With inflation on the rise, making better choices is expensive. And that's what I love about Thrive Market. They actually have cut my grocery bill by 30%. Now, Thrive Market has everything you need from groceries, cleaning supplies, cosmetics, fish, yes, fish and even wine which I have partaked on quite a few bottles for makeup bingos but just saying anyway <laughs> what is also great about Thrive is that you can filter products by diet and lifestyle types of product or by your favorite brands for example my sweet angel baby Alex sometimes has reactions to dairy so I like being able to search for dairy free products easily what I also love about Thrive is that they have a monthly membership option where it comes out to about $12 a month but if you do choose a yearly membership it comes out to about $5 a month and for every paid annual membership Thrive Market donates a free membership to someone in need. So between that and their mission to be the world's first climate positive grocery store, orders for $49 and up are shipped free and delivered with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouse. What is there not to love about Thrive? Okay, Thrive is everything. Y'all, when I was planning my purchases, I lost my mind when I saw that Thrive Market has a fall curated box. So with that said, let's unbox this bad boy together because as you can see, he's beefy and he's also very heavy. <laughs> Okay, the first thing is the Thrive Market Organic Pumpkin Spice Coffee. Ooh, Thrive Market Organic Maple Sugar. Ooh, Thrive Market Pumpkin and Bread Muffin Mix. Ooh, you can see there's a theme here. <laughs> Oat House Granola Butter Flavored Pumpkin Spice. Ooh, like I can't stop saying ooh. <laughs> Thrive Market infused organic maple syrup, which actually I'm super, super excited about this one. Cinnamon and vanilla bean. We don't have syrup in this house, okay? So I have some pumpkin waffles that I need to be making soon. <laughs> I've just been craving some syrup. Now I got some syrup, super excited. Envirosense, plug hub warmer kit. In a scent, vanilla bean and pumpkin spice. Mmm, I can't smell anything. <laughs> Probably because it's in its packaging. Mmm. And last but certainly not least, ooh, these look so good. Okay, <laughs> I kind of want to eat one now. This is from Lake Seed Base. These are pumpkin spice crispy treats. I want to eat one now. I'll leave a thing right here if it's delicious or not. <laughs> I want to eat it. Oh my God, that sounds delicious. Okay. Oh, I totally forgot. I also got some other stuff too. <laughs> uh, first of all, this is a staple in this house. The Justin's Vanilla Almond Butter. Listen, this and rice cakes, specifically these rice cakes. Not all rice cakes are created equal, but this rice cake from Lundberg, the thin ones, <sighs> it makes me think of my old coworker, Diana. She used to have these at her desk and I used to come over for snack time and we used to have these together. But we used to have uh, peanut butter. We didn't have almond butter, but I kind of can't go back to peanut butter. This is just too good. Anyway, I have too many options right now and I want to eat them all. I'm so excited for this box, especially the fall favorites box. I sincerely hope that they do another one around the holidays because not only are they a really cute idea for yourself, but they are a really good gift idea as well. So I love a good curated box. I adore Thrive Market, and if you're interested in making your life a little bit easier and a little bit more delicious, click the link in my description or go to thrivemarket.com slash Teresa's Dead. You can get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive Market today. Again, thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Y'all go support the sponsors that support your garbage clean. And listen, fall in a box. How are we not doing back clips right now? <laughs> I love it. Now, uh, with that said, let's go back to old me, old me, just old me. Sounds depressing when I say it that way, but old me. Well, good morning, my little hot dogs. How are you today? I'm good. Just did my eyebrows. I threw my hair up in a messy fun bun. Did my skincare prep, my primer, my bloopity blah blah. Uh, because uh, I cannot fuck around today. I have meetings and I need to look like a fierce warrior 
queen bitch in the boardroom. The virtual boardroom, that is. And I figured, why not look like a fancy rich bitch with using all the luxury products I just unboxed last week. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up in the corner there. Because, bitch, there was some good finds. With that said, I think what I want to do is my base first. And then we're going to do my eye look and all that stuff. Because I'm going to be using the, the new Tom Ford palette. And I just have a feeling as there's not going to be any fallout. Because, you know, there's barely any pigments in these fucking palettes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Not the cream ones. The cream ones are amazing. Everything else is kind of like... But anyway, I've heard really good things about this one, the Opry Skis palette. So I'm hoping that I'm going to look like a rich, fancy bitch. But in any case, here we are. So hi, how are you? How are things going? My bun's like totally lopsided here. Hi. Whatever. Happy Friday. You're going to see this on Friday. Happy Friday. I'm doing good. I'm going to go in with my CC Pear Dr. Jart. This stuff is amazing. Especially when you have like letter coverage option shit. This is just so good. It neutralizes the redness that I have in my skin. And no, the redness is not from rosacea. A lot of people ask me that. It's not rosacea. I just have very fair skin. And I could be completely white in one second. And then um, I could be happy, mad, sad, glad. And my face turns red. Or even just doing this. See how white that was? <laughs> and now it's red. <laughs> It's just, that's my skin. It sucks. What can I say? I'm translucent, okay? <laughs> I'm one of those fucking fish that you find at the bottom of the goddamn ocean. You see their brains, okay? Their skin is jello. I am jello. <laughs> We're starting really aggressive this morning. I'm doing good. Work is slowly driving me. <sighs> mad. I think that's pretty much for everybody's line of work right now. I don't think mine is super special. I think there's just a lot of turnover in general. A lot of changes, a lot of this and a lot of that. And you're just like, can't we just be normal for five minutes? Like, so I'm sure without getting into specifics, y'all can feel me on that front. We're probably all going through this simultaneously. I cannot believe it's November. I cannot believe the holidays are upon us. This has been the fastest yet slowest year of my life. <laughs> it feels like I've been in Florida for a fucking decade. And I don't know if it's maybe it's just time moves differently here. I don't know. In one hand, it's like, oh my God, I can't believe it's already November. But on the other hand, it's like, I've been down here since February and it feels like I've lived here my whole life. It's the weirdest feeling. And I don't miss New York at all. I mean, I do miss, there are things that I miss, obviously. You know, mom, of course I miss my mom. I miss friends. I miss, you know, Alex's family. And then of course a handful of restaurants. <laughs> Let's be real here. Where are my priorities at? But by the time that you're seeing this, my mom's actually almost going to be here. And I'm super fucking excited about that. But let me explain what I have to do though. Okay, so we're going to go in with the Westman Atelier Vital Skincare Complexion Drops in the shade Atelier. N. And I think this is the lightest shade. So this looks pretty um, liquidy. Yeah, oh, she's, she's liquidy for sure. So um, I'm just going to kind of dot it like this, try to move it around with my fingers, and then maybe attack it with a brush. Maybe I can get away with just using my fingers, which is something I don't normally do, but I ain't mad at this though. It's actually pretty nice coverage. However, if I didn't put that Dr. Jart down, I think I would be like, huh! Like you could see right through everything because <laughs> this is incredibly light, but yeah, not so bad. You know what? Maybe, maybe what I'll do is instead of a brush, I'll wet a sponge. While it is giving me decent coverage, I do see that product's not quite melting into the skin. It's kind of sitting on top of it, but also I don't really blend shit in with my fingers. So that's probably a, a me problem, you know? Yeah, it just feels sacrilegious doing this this <laughs> way. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like using my fingers. Ooh, it's just weird. Maybe it's because I know where my fingers have been. <laughs> no, but I don't know. It just, it feels weird doing this. And I know a lot of people do this. And I know, listen, I have to get out of my comfort zone, okay? It was my birthday recently. I need to get out of my comfort zone. I can't be a little bitch forever. Just blend in, Teresa, blend in. Stop thinking about it. Just fucking, just do it. Do you do that? Do you give yourself little pep talks telling you that you're a little bitch? <laughs> find myself doing that more and more these days. <laughs> just do it. See if we can just kind of build up some coverage right over yonder. But yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a sponge. I'm trying y'all. I think I'm doing a pretty good job, but I know I could do better. And I feel like the sponge is my security blanket that I need. I need a wet sponge, hold on. 
Okay, now I feel better. I think what I like about the sponge is that it, it pushes the product into the skin and it doesn't feel like it's sitting on top of it. So obviously I bow down to those that know how to blend really good with their fingers because I felt like for me, this is just a product that I, I wasn't getting that. I was getting more like, hey, it looks okay, but it also looks like there's fucking paint drying on your face. Oh, I like this. All right, so this is basically just like maybe one and a half coats. It doesn't look too bad. There is a noticeable redness down here, basically all around my fucking face. But I think what's nice about this particular product is that it just, even though there is a little bit of redness there, it doesn't look like um, it's super noticeable, right? It just looks like this is my normal skin, except I'll just, I'll be a little bit more healthier than usual. And I like that. I love products that are like that. And considering that we're still fairly fucking warm down here, it's always nice to have another lighter coverage option. So, so far, so good. We're liking this. I do want to just, I don't know. I want to see if I can just maybe add a little bit of concealer right here. So I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup, the Future Fluid. I don't like this under my eyes, but I think for the remainder of my face, I feel like it does a really nice job providing kind of extra coverage. So I'm just going to go in right here. I'm going to go in just over here just to get rid of that red mess right there. And we're gonna get that fucking pimple right down there. Oh yeah, so my mom is finally gonna come and visit me. So fucking excited about that. And unfortunately though, she's only here from like Wednesday to Saturday. So it's a very, very short trip. But my mom hasn't flown since 9-11. And it took a lot of convincing <laughs> for her to get on a plane. Long story short, right before 9-11 happened, we were just coming back from our annual vacation that we take that we go to Disney World me and my mom and my brother it was right after Labor Day because my mom used to always take off the last week in August and go into Labor Day because it was the cheapest and obviously the hottest and we all were fucking blood bags boiling in the sun but anyway so that was the last time she was ever on the plane and I understand I, I completely understand uh, and it took me a long time to want to get on a plane but I'm happy that I did I'm happy that I didn't let fear cripple me when I knew I was moving I knew that one of the biggest things was like oh my mom is it's, it's gonna be a little difficult for her to come visit me so what I have to do is so since it's gonna be her by herself because initially my stepfather was supposed to unfortunately he had to cancel so I was like how about I fly up on Tuesday and then I stay over the night and then we can leave together. And um, so she's like, okay, no problem. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna be in New York for about 24 hours just to chaperone my mom uh, to Florida for a few days. And if there's anybody else, I tell them to go fuck themselves, but it's my mom, so I will do anything for her. Anyway, we're gonna go in with uh, Pure Lease, the BB Glow Concealer. This is good, this is really, really good. It's not new, I don't have any new concealers. Oh wait, no, I do. I'm a fucking liar, I do. I have the Dior Backstage Concealer. <gasps> Bitch, here I was going to be using something I've already used. We're going to go in with the Dior Backstage Concealer that has a very weird fucking wand. I know, this is in the shade Fair as Fuck, which is also known as Zero N. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, that's nice. Put a little right there and back there. My favorite thing as of late is using this refer brush, the number 36. It's such a, a good concealer brush. This I think is technically meant for hooded eyes, but like bigger hooded eyes. I feel like my eye set's really small, so this brush wouldn't really work for me in my eye area. But I think as a concealer brush, oh, this bitch is top notch. See, I like this brush because it blends everything very evenly and very quickly. I have my little itinerary for when my mom comes and visits. We're gonna be going to, um, <laughs> my, <laughs> my mom was like, can we go to Bucky's? If you've never been to a Bucky's, it's a, a religious experience. That's the only way that I can describe it. I feel like that's the only thing she <laughs> she honestly remembers when I was explaining to her, like when we drove down, when we finally moved down here, like when we did our little road trip, all she remembers from that is Bucky's and how wonderful it was. And then she was really jealous that she didn't go to Bucky's and she wanted to go to Bucky's. There's like two Bucky's in Florida. One is in Daytona. And the other one, I believe, is like St. Augustine. We're gonna go to the one in Daytona because that one's a little bit closer, even though it's like a fucking hour and a half drive. <laughs> but I do anything for my mother. And um, yeah, that's one of the one of the things. And can I tell you, my mom is just so excited about that. Just excited. She obviously she's excited to see me and Alex, right? But she's really like, oh, I can't wait to go to that Bucky's. I heard they had the cleanest bathrooms in the whole country. I'm like, yeah, mom, they do. <laughs> So I'm very excited for her to um, experience Bucky's. And if you know, you know. <laughs> I feel like anybody else would be like, it's a fucking gas station. But you obviously haven't been to Bucky's. <laughs> <laughs> because they have everything, everything you could possibly think of. It's like a fucking general store mixed with some of the best gas station food you'll ever find, mixed with the nicest people that work there. It's almost like Bucky's is too good for this world. <laughs> 
Like, how did you come here? This world is awful. How did we get so blessed having a Bucky's? I don't know. But anyway, that's what we're doing. We're gonna do some Disney stuff. We're gonna go venture around, but the most important thing is going to Bucky's. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so I'm liking the concealer. It's not settling into my fine lines. I feel like it's a really nice match. My face looks like a white potato. <coughs> what else is new but this is uh, this is looking pretty good so far i really like the westman atelier it's nice i feel like a fancy old woman like i feel like i should belong to a country club and i should be shaking my glass at somebody can you refill me more ice please for my tom collins i like it so what i'm gonna do now is do i have any no i think everything else is a pretty much powder product so i'm going to powder my face and then we're gonna keep on keeping on obviously the only powder you can use is the Charlotte Tilbury. I love this as an under eye powder. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass palette, and I'm just gonna use these two powders over here, which is Ethereal Light and Diffuse Light, and I'm gonna set the rest of my face with it. You know, in keeping in the themes of being a rich, powerful bitch, we're gonna go in with an oldie but a goodie. This is the Tom Ford bronzer. I fucking top five, top five, top five bronzers. I got a new brush. <laughs> Didn't expect that, oh shit. <laughs> Okay, so this is the uh, Sonia G, uh, Niji, N-I-J-I -I Pro. This is... Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, 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 listen. Listen, we love a bronze moment, okay? We love a bronze moment, and I know this is gonna look a little... Oh, okay, there you go. All right, so... <laughs> It looks a hell of a lot better. Um, so we're not gonna go in with a super heavy hand, but it's good to see that we can um, blend it out. I was a little scared for a second. This brush is too powerful, but I really, really like it though. I really, really like it. During the Beautylish gift card event, I wound up picking up that and the Chantecaille CBD cream, and I regret nothing. It was a birthday present to myself. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking cute. The next thing we're gonna do is go in with a Gucci blush and we have a new one. I am a fan of this formula. I think it's fantastic. It was on my Sephora recommendations list. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up there. I think by the time you see this, the Sephora sale should still be happening. This is in the color Silky Rose, very pretty pink. So we're gonna add that. The Gucci blush is just so pretty. It's like, I mean business. <laughs> And that's what I want today. I want to look like I am that bitch. You don't fuck with me. You don't fuck with the company. I need to scare people today. And why not scare them with really expensive makeup? <laughs> the only thing new I don't have technically is a highlighter. So we're going to go in using the Hourglass Butterfly Palette, even though I put it in the Tiger Palette. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit of glitter. I love the highlighter in this palette. I think it's so pretty. She's expensive. She's fun. She's a bitch. I love it. Okay, we look pretty cute. I like this. So the next thing we're gonna do is fuck up my face with some eyeshadow. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of eye primer. So for me, my tried and true as of late has been the Kaleidos Tone Activator. I cannot believe how much I've really just been enjoying the shit out of this one. First of all, the Tom Ford palette comes in a nice little drug pouch. We love that. This is what she looks like. Very, 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 very basic. So we have pretty much all shimmers at this point. I'm trying to think, what would be the best course of action here? I want to see if I can layer them or try to make some sort of a gradient. So let's see what they look like with a dry brush. And you know what? For shits and giggles, I kind of want to <laughs> use the stupid fucking sponge applicator that comes with these. I feel like I have to. All right, so do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? It is light. Wow. Is this what rich people like? I don't know. Maybe I'm just not at that level in my life where I can appreciate this. Let's try this with a brush. So I'm gonna go in with the refer number two and I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade in the palette. Okay, I think I like it way better on a brush. I think the Barbie brush is just not where it's at. This is very pretty. Okay, okay. All right, maybe I judge rich people. This is not that bad. So I have nothing in the crease or anything like that. I'm just kind of blending the shadows out because we want to have that expensive look. And I have to say, the shadows when blended out, it's very pretty. It's just something I'm not used to. But I'm stepping out of my comfort zone these days. And um, I'm not mad at it, but it's just so... Um... <laughs> 
I guess I'm maybe it's my expectations like I'm used to you know literally turning myself into a baby drag queen right like I'm used to using seven different fucking colors in one look and maybe it doesn't have to be like that maybe I could just appreciate the finer things in life like just two satiny metallic -y shadows and I mean I'm okay, I'm okay with that I'm not saying I don't want that sometimes I want things that are easy this feels very easy which is nice it's just a little I don't know I don't know what I was expecting like there's something about the cream quads right that I feel like god damn I don't understand the magic behind it and I feel like I'm the only one and a lot of people don't like that formula I fucking think it's fantastic and I just love how it looks and I feel like every time I use it it always makes me just look like a million dollars okay <laughs> that's so so cute a million dollars but anyway but you know what I mean like it makes me feel really good so this is what I'm supposed like, like quiet luxury what the fuck is this what is this like I don't know I'm not really it's not me it's not me I don't know maybe I'm expecting too much but I am going to go in using the Sonya G flat definer to try to build up a little bit of something fuck it I'm just gonna have to go in with my finger okay with my finger I feel like I'm getting some sort of payoff with that lighter shade but now we have a fair amount of fucking fallout at least the fallout's very easy to clean so we love that like it's pretty but I expected more I don't know maybe maybe I'm just being unrealistic here probably the formula feels really nice it's blending out very beautifully i think my eye look is very simple but chic and elegant but i don't know maybe i'm just looking for like lobsters holding sparklers on roller skates you know i want something that is decadent but impossible <laughs> I'm gonna sit in that comment. I realize how ridiculous that sounded, but I'm gonna sit with it. Sometimes I really make no sense. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the coppery looking shade over here, over yonder. And I just wanna see if I can just provide a little bit of something, something, a little bit of dimension. And then we're gonna go back in with the brown shade. Okay, maybe I'll just go in with my finger. It's kind of wild for something so fucking expensive. It's almost better to use your finger. It's the weirdest thing. You would think rich people wouldn't want that. <laughs> You'd think rich people would want like the softest of brushes and all that bullshit. Listen, we're gonna go for it, okay? Like we're gonna go for it. Okay, so we're gonna do whatever the fuck this is on the other side and then we're gonna finish it up. <laughs> I mean, it's growing on me. 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 I think I like this. <laughs> it took me a minute to appreciate it, but I think what I like about it is how simple yet complicated it almost feels, but it's incredibly simple to create something like this. Like it literally takes no time at all and you have better pigmentation with your fucking fingers, ironically enough. So I guess today what we've learned is really just use your fingers for the most part. <laughs> but uh, there's just something kind of effortless about my look. I feel expensive. If that makes sense. Like, I, I feel like, oh, don't fuck with this bitch. She will take you out. You know? <laughs> I'm kind of loving it. So that said, what we're going to do, we are going to, I need a little bit of liner, but I don't know if I want to, I, you know what I want to do? All right. I'm going to do a little bit of liner, but I'm going to be using the Lunar Beauty palette. There's a really good black in here. So I'm going to be using this shade and I'm just going to kind of quickly and quietly <laughs> just line my upper lash line. Also, what I'm trying to do too is do, I don't want to like stay Stamp it. I don't want it to like be super intense. I'm going back and forth, kind of blend it out to make it a little bit more smoky. Could realize putting black on top of all this bronze brown moment could look a little bit too like ugh, a little bit too weird. Just want to go back and forth a few times. Just want to give myself a little bit of something, a little bit of dimension. Because I find that if I don't do this, sometimes I don't know, mascara doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look as quite as full, I feel like. If I don't kind of add this right here. Okay, the more I look at the more I'm kind of falling in love with this look. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? It ain't so bad. I look pretty cute after all. So what I want to do is actually, you know what I want to do? I do have a lipstick, but I've been meaning to try this Clarins lip oil because I've heard really, really good things about it. So this is in the shade Raspberry, right? I think it's in Raspberry. Yep, Raspberry. I'm just going to put it on just for a little bit. Oh, Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of keep this on for a little bit. We're going to finish the eye look and then we're going to add the lipstick on, but I just kind of needed to feel what this feels like. I understand the hype. It feels really good. It's it's very different from Dior. Dior just feels thicker. This is definitely on the thinner side, but super comfortable though. 
I'm definitely gonna be picking up more of these little fuckers because they feel really good. Nice. All right, so what am I gonna do for the waterline? I think I want to kind of keep it very simple. We're gonna go in with something nude, something basic. So let me see what I have. You know what? I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna go in with, which I don't really typically like these, but I'm gonna try it again. This is from Danessa Myricks. This is in the shade Rose Quartz. It's a multi-chrome eyeliner, but I figured being that I don't, yeah, nothing really came out. <laughs> I want to like these so much. The fucking pigment on them. Yeah, it's just, mm-mm. No, it's not what, it, it's not it. It's not it. It's not it. I don't, these are not, these, I don't like these. If you have sensitive eyes like me, you have watery eyes where nothing stays in, in your waterline, these don't even fucking show up. <laughs> <laughs> I take that back. There's like a little something something going on, but it's it's like you could barely even fucking see it. This is a no. The only two multi-chrome eyeliners I recommend is either from Kaleidos or Sugar Drizzle. But Kaleidos is definitely has a lot more pigment to them. So just a heads up there, but I fucking highly recommend 10 out of 10. We're gonna go in with good old Chantecai. This is the Kajal liner. This is in the shade Nude. This one is really good. Now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna go into the brown color again. And I'm just going to pop down a little bit of something right underneath the lash line. Okay, the more I'm looking at myself, the more I'm kind of falling in love with myself. Uh <laughs> It's no frills, but yet I feel like, oh no, you don't fuck with Teresa. No. Okay, so I think the last thing I wanna do, curl my lashes, and then I'm gonna add some mascara, but here's the deal though. Technically, in my luxury mystery box, there was a Dior mascara, and it's in this beautiful red shade. Kinda wanna see what it's gonna look like. It could go horrible, or it can go really good but we're gonna try it though. I don't hate it, I don't hate it. This is actually kind of nice. Okay, like I don't hate this. What the fuck? This is cute. <laughs> oh, I like this. I've never tried, not to my knowledge anyway. Dior mascara, this is not disappointing at all. Okay, you know, I was giving this whole thing a lot of shit, but the more I look at myself, the more I'm like, I'm a badass bitch and I love it. Oh, don't fuck with me, fellas. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> this is definitely, a Margaret Candle Flame in her younger years, for sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh, I like it. Oh, I'm sorry. This is fucking adorable. So the last thing we're gonna do is, oh, I'm gonna take off this lip oil, oh, which I don't wanna do because it's so good and it's so motherfucking nourishing. But I'm gonna go in with the new Givenchy lipstick. This is for the holiday collection. This is the cutest fucking thing ever. It's in the shade 16. Oh, okay. It's like a really nice kind of like powdery, kind of lip stain -y kind of finish. Okay, I think I really like this. So the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in uh, actually with the Lunar Beauty palette. There's a really pretty shimmer shade and I'm gonna use that for the inner corner. Cause I don't know, I need to have a little bit of sparkle here. So this is the completed look. Okay, let me fix my hair and give you some final thoughts. And here's the completed look. Look how precious I am. I know. I'm giving you the fantasy of like being a top corporate bitch. And I love it. I think I look so cute. Anyway, let's do a quick recap on some of these products. And I'm going to make a video later on this month talking about a lot of new products that I've been trying and whether or not like I'm still loving them or hating them or whatever. Anyway, let's start with the first thing, which is from Westman Atelier. This is nice. So it was a little bit of like a, ooh, I don't know how I'm doing this correctly because it is a very, very thin formula and it's best to really just kind of massage it in with your hands. I think I just need to get kind of better with that. I'm so used to grabbing a brush or a sponge rather than using my own disgusting little Cheeto crusted hoofs. You know, <laughs> like I just, I don't, I don't want these near my face. I liked how it looked with the fingers, but it wasn't until I used a sponge where I just felt like, okay, everything just looks seamless and beautiful. I think it's a really good color match for me. And overall, I just like the formula. I don't know, it just, it feels like I have nothing on my face, which one, I love, you know, y'all know I love that. And two, it gives me like this really beautiful hydration without it being like super oily, messy, you know, bullshit. Like I have a nice radiance, but in a very professional way. Like I feel expensive, I feel rich. Like I cost more than just $20. Like <laughs> I love it. So I actually really, really like this. And I hope, 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 hope that the coverage uh, kind of remains really good for the remainder of the day. But um, so far so good. I like how it sits on my nose. I'm not noticing any sort of like dry patches or settling into to my fine lines, everything is looking pretty fucking good. So I'm loving it. I'm curious to see how this kind of compares to the Summer Fridays 
skin tan because that one is fantastic so i'm kind of curious to keep playing with this one to see like okay like you know which one is ultimately better because this bitch is expensive she's expensive she comes in like the smallest fucking bottle possible it almost feels like this is a deluxe sample but that's just how expensive shit is it's either really small or really obnoxiously big there's no fucking in between moving on to the concealer so far so good i like how it looks underneath my eyes i didn't feel like it was settling into my fine lines the brush component it is actually kind of cool at first it was like trippy because I was like what the fuck is this but it's actually really nice I think it's providing me a really nice amount of coverage the shade match is pretty good I don't know so far so good I'm liking this of course I'll update you to let you know if it's still amazing but yeah so far so good I usually can tell pretty fairly quickly if something is going to be settling in my fine lines or kind of like breaking down but so far everything is looking pretty seamless so we like that moving on to blush y'all know I, I love a good Gucci blush Gucci I have a love-hate relationship with them I want to keep loving them and they just keep fucking me over now this one lightly smells like um grandma's vagina <laughs> but it's not as like fragrant as some of the other cosmetics that I've tried from the brand. I love the packaging. I think it's cute. I love all the colors. Honestly, it's so stupid, but I want them all. I'm a completionist. I want them all because they're just so pretty to fucking look at. I love the soft watercolor moment. I think it really blends beautifully into the skin. It doesn't feel garish. It just makes me, again, just feel like a rich bitch, an expensive bitch. I own the company and I love it. So we're loving this. Moving on to the Tom Ford eyeshadow palette. I, you know, I feel like in the beginning, I was kind of like, what the fuck is this? And then I started to kind of understand and go oh okay it's one of those products that is kind of unassuming but also effortlessly beautiful at the same time and it's something that I'm not used to I'm used to turning myself into a baby drag queen and making just things way too fucking complicated that's just my life so using a product like this where you really could just use one shadow and just be you know one and done is a, a foreign concept to me right um but there's something really beautifully soft about this formula it looks like I don't fuck around and that's the look I was going for today the don't fuck with me fellas look and I feel like I've accomplished that I really think it's really really beautiful although I do find it funny that I get better pigmentation with my little finger than I do a brush but the little actually stupid Barbie brushes that come with the actual palette are fucking pointless and are stupid and I don't understand why I almost wish they would just like omit this section and give me like a big fucking shadow here those little brushes do nothing other than piss me off so yeah it was a little bit of a touch and go situation but I think the more I sat with it and the more I, I kept staring into my soul the more I realized I actually I like this is it my favorite Tom Ford quad no I still think the cream quads are where it's at again I'm on Lonely Island here because a lot of people are like oh, I don't fucking hate it whatever like it it's preferences at this point right but there's something about that one that I love the formula because it's so like easy to work with and just so sultry and sexy and just so metallic these are definitely way softer than what I'm used to I'm used to being like a wham bam thank you ma'am I'm an alien slut these are more of um I would say even less than a diet alien slut this is like a paleo slut <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense an Atkins slut <laughs> A South Beach, I don't know. It feels a little bit lighter than what I'm used to. But again, turning 37, I wanna be out of my comfort zone and I'm out of my comfort zone and I kind of fucking love this. What I do also like about the palette is that it was very, very easy to kind of throw this together. So I can appreciate that it literally takes no time at all to kind of give you that kind of wispy, effortlessly beautiful look. So I wanna to continue to play with this, but if you do see this on sale, you know what? I think it's kind of worth checking out. Even off my initial thoughts, like it's really, really pretty. and something I'm just like not quite used to but I'm low-key loving the fuck out of it I like it I like it we're good we're Gucci we like it <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is the Dior mascara oh bitch this is good I really like the Charlotte Tilbury brown mascara the dream pop mascara and this is kind of like on the same wavelength as this I find that it's actually really doing a great job lifting my lashes defining them I didn't find the mascara to be like messy or anything everything stayed into place and even with the brush one kind of being on the thicker side it really still worked very very well on the lower lash line this is fantastic and I I actually want to during the Sephora sale I want to see if I can get other colors because this is actually really fucking pretty way prettier than I expected I think comparing this to also like the Pat McGrath one that formula is just kind of like it's a little bit too wet for me this is more dry but it's not dry to the point where it's like flaking into your eyeball where you're just like trying to fish shit out of your eye all day this is more comfortable so it's a drier formula it's not super wet it's good this is solid I fucking love this so I can't wait to continue to use it so you have two lip products the first is the Clarence 
Clarins lip oil. I understand the hype. It feels wonderful. It's a little bit different from the Dior lip oil, which to me is my favorite one. This is a little bit thinner, but it feels so goddamn good on the fucking face. And I want to see if I can get pick up more of these ASAP. The raspberry one is wonderful. So we love her. And last but not least, we have the Givenchy lipstick. So this one is good. So this is the La Rouge Sheer Velvet. And it's exactly that. It is very sheer, very, very sheer. So I had to build up the opacity, which is not a, a huge fucking deal. But if you do want to have less pigmentation, you can totally get that with just by one or two swipes with this product. It truly feels like velvet on the lips. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Lisa Eldridge, like those velvet-ish lipstick, except the pigmentation on those lipsticks are like super fucking intense in comparison to this. I like that I can build it up to have a fuller opacity. Overall, it feels really good. It feels incredibly hydrating without it being a super satin or like bleeding into the outer corners. It just feels comfortable. So I'm curious to see what the longevity is going to be like with this product, but I love the packaging. When I first saw this online, I was kind of like, oh, like whatever, like eh, who cares? It's so much cuter in person. It looks like a little tiny puffer coat. This is fucking everything. It's so cute. I love it. And I like that this is a refillable case. So that's really cute too. This is 10 out of 10, like probably an unassuming lipstick, but really fucking cool. Just feels really good. Y'all know I have dry ass lips. I feel good, babe. That said, that's all I got. Let me know down below how you feel about some of these products, if you had them or if you've been waiting or if you've been wanting to check them out. Of course, if there's something else you wanna see me uh, talk about, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to do so. Again, thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. And uh, with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and YouTube members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, Actually really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting, actually. Garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces, and I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. And it'll be a great old time. If you want to know everything that I put on my face today, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you, little pumpkins, later. Bye.